Hi everyone, in this video I am going to demonstrate or introduce you to the sum and difference formulas for sine, cosine, and tangent. Before we get to those identities, which we also call formulas, I'm going to um, illustrate for you what is not something you might want to naturally do, which is, doesn't make any mathematical sense. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take out your calculators and I want you to find the value of this expression on the left hand side that I've just highlighted in yellow. Make sure you're in radian mode because these angles are in radians. So this angle on the, I mean this expression on the left hand side, so I'm going to put on my camera so that you can see my calculator. And a little bit lower, a little bit lower, right there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put my calculator in degree mode. No, I'm going to take it out of degree mode. I'm going to put it in radian mode. And I'm going to calculate the sine. And then in parentheses, we had 3 pi over 4. 3 pi over 4. And then we have plus... 5 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6. You probably already have an answer there. Now, the prism is going to give you an exact value, but I'm going to change it to a decimal, and I'm going to jot that decimal down. So negative 0 0.966 negative 0 0.966, let's write that down, negative 0 0.966. So this expression on the left-hand side, we know for sure mathematically that it becomes neg very close to negative 1. So this angle must be very close to a 90-degree angle or a pi over 2 angle because it's very close, not a 9 a negative 90 or negative pi over 2 which would be 3 pi over 2 because it's negative one it's very close to negative 1 now I'm going to go into my calculator and I'm going to find the sine of 3 pi over 4 plus the sine of 5 pi over 6 so I'm going to separate them out which is what I think I might be able to do I'm going to illustrate for you how very wrong that is so I've got the sine of 3 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, and I'm going to add to that the sine of 5 pi over 6. And again, that's an exact value because your, your prism is going to do that. And look at that, I get 1.207. 1.207. So we'll jot that down. 1.207. So you can see right here, this, this decimal on the left is not the same as this decimal on the right. Number one, the one on the left is negative and the one on the right is positive. Number two, they're very different numbers. So they're not even additive inverses of one another. These are not the same. They're not the same. They are not equivalent. They are not equal. They are different. Therefore, what I'm trying to get across is that you can't just take a word and distribute a word into numbers. So this all by itself is a word. This is a word, it has a meaning in the dictionary, and it is nothing mathematical. Once I put an angle after it, it's now mathematical. So this is a mathematical statement now. I can't just take the word and take it out of the expression. So a trig function is nothing without the angle. You can't just distribute the word sign into a bunch of numbers. So when we come back down here, 
and I'm going to change my pen so that my pen is um, a little bit darker. The sine of u plus v has a very specific formula, what we also call an identity, that goes along with it. The sine of u plus v is the sine, oh, I don't like that. Let me, let me make it a little bit thicker. I don't like that either. Let's just go back to the pencil the way it was. The sine of u, I got all messed up with that pen. The sine of u times the cosine of v plus the sine of v times the cosine of u. These are going to be flashcards, so you're going to want to make flashcards. The yellow goes on the front, and the green is going to go on the back. So yellow goes on the front, green goes on the back. On the front, I would probably put some formula, and then on the back, of course, the green part, and on this next one, I would put difference. So why the next one is called a difference is because u minus v is a difference. So the sine of u minus v, once you know the sine of u plus v, the sine of u minus v, piece of cake. Sine of u, cosine of v, everything stays the same except the sine minus the sine of v times the cosine of u. And then our cosine of u plus v is the cosine of u times the cosine of v minus, you're probably thinking she made a mistake, I didn't make a mistake, the sine of u times the sine of v. So the sine identities have products of sine and cosine, and then they have the same sign, S-I-G-N, as the binomial angle. So whatever that angle is, that's the same sign. If it's a sum, then you're gonna be adding the two, the two products, right? So the products for sine are sine times cosine, sine times cosine. The products for cosine are cosine times cosine, sine times sine. Now you can't square it because the angles are different. So this isn't cosine squared of u because they're not, the both angles aren't u. So we have to keep them separated. You gotta keep them separated. Um, the next one, cosine of u minus v, is cosine of u times cosine of v, and then you probably, you've got it, right? What's the sign? Well, here it's the opposite sign. When, you, when your product is the same trig function, cosine, cosine, then your sign, S-I-G-N, your operation between the two products is the opposite of what's between the two angles. Or the, yeah, I guess it's the opposite. I guess you could say that it's the opposite. Okay. And then tangent of u plus v, we're thinking, ah, oh, this is pretty easy. This is kind of cool. Well, this one's gonna look familiar if you were following along in um, one of the problems in the homework, I also did this problem in class. Which means I, I did it by video, video, but it was live video. The tangent of u plus v is equal to the tangent of u plus the tangent of v all over one minus the tangent of u tangent of v. And the tangent of u minus v is the tangent of u minus the tangent of v all over one plus the tangent of u times the tangent of v. So we want to definitely have these memorized. These are, these are formulas that you'll want to have memorized. And the reason being is not so much in pre-calculus, but in calculus, um, AP calculus specifically, 
you'll come across an integral or a derivative in which you have a trig function. You're finding the derivative or an integral of a trig function that is a sum identity, and it's going to be so much easier to work with it in another form. And you're going to be going back and forth between these two forms, or at least you need to be able to see that. Okay, in the next video, you can see that we're going to now apply these formulas into finding the exact value of a difference. We'll do the va exact value of a, of a sum, and um, we'll also do an exact value of um, 